Members of the IGF Modest Stakeholder Advisory Group, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to address you on behalf of the United Nations. Let me start by thanking the 2023 Modest Stakeholder Advisory Group for your central role in shaping the impressive meeting in Kyoto last October. We received many positive comments and success would not have been possible without the immense support of the MAC. You have laid the important groundwork for this year's preparation on your way to Riyadh. The 2023 IGF brought together more than 9,000 stakeholders from 178 UN member states. With an increased participation in the private sector, and the members from the Asia-Pacific. We hope to see the same or even bigger engagement at the, the 2024 IGF in Riyadh. The dialogue and exchange in Kyoto delivered forward-looking and action-oriented messages. The forum reiterated the calls for the global community to do more, such as closing the multiple forms of the digital device, implementing the standards of the openness and interoperability, and continuing a strong multi-stakeholder approach to the internet governance. Let's keep this in mind as we program and design the agenda and the priorities for the Riyadh IGF. This year's MAG has an important task ahead. With the summit of the future upcoming in September, and the review the process of the World Summit on the Information Society in 2025, this year's IGF is a critical one. The agenda of the 19th annual meeting must be ambitious, building on the success of the Global Digital Compact and striving for a better digital world. The MAG needs to ensure that all stakeholders across the countries and communities can participate in and contribute to the decision making to reflect the people's aspirations and skill that they arise online. An effective modern stakeholder governance approach is essential to ensure that the policies and the regulations are both inclusive and adaptable to the rapidly evolving digital landscape. The IGF 2024 themes must be carefully crafted, guided by the inputs from the stakeholders and institutions received through the IGF's public call. Finally, I also welcome the fruitful collaboration between the MAC and the leadership panel. This will allow the IGF to be more strategic and impactful in 2024 and beyond. I have no doubt that the IGF 2024 will help to shape the future of the global digital agenda. I wish you a very productive meeting. Thank you.